What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Tuesdays with Dean Show. It's your boy, MP Parasource, coming at you guys again. What a crazy week it's been in the football world recently. Yeah, two teams below a three goal lead in the Champions League. Real Madrid was lucky enough to come away with the win at the end of the day. Barcelona, don't even get me started on that. We're never going to mention that game. Now, to me, that Champions League quarterfinals has been some of the best quarterfinals matches that we've gone in a really long time. We saw Liverpool be one of the main Champions League contenders in City and they did it in such a dominating fashion and to me it was so interesting to see how a team that hasn't necessarily been at their peak the entire season was able to dominate the best team in the EPL so far in this decade and how they were able to just take them apart within the first within the first half of the first fixture so to me that was incredible to see I'm super excited to see Liverpool in the Champions League semifinals again and hopefully in the final again and see if this is the page turner for Liverpool as a as a team in other news of course Real Madrid almost blew their 3 nothing lead they got a the controversial penalty to say the least I still don't know if it's a penalty or not let me know what you think below uh, whether you think it was a penalty whether you disagree with the call at the end of the day they called the penalty it's done Cristiano scored it is done um, now they got Bayern which to me were the two best teams that were remaining in the competition and I'm, I'm not so sure Bayern is going to be able to handle Real Madrid I think just Real Madrid just has their number for the majority of the times so it'll be interesting to see now listen we are not going to talk about what happened in Roma because whatever happened in Rome on Tuesday should never be spoken about it was the worst the worst game I have ever seen as a Barcelona fan. It was pathetic, it was disgusting, it was embarrassing. Just complete disaster from start to finish. Valverde with a horrible lineup selection from start. The players were acting like they didn't even want to play. The ball couldn't even get to Suarez or Messi. Defense was just a mess. And you know, all credit to Roma because they came out, they did their job fired up right from the start they did exactly what they needed to do came away with the result one of the greatest champions league games i have ever seen big shout out to roma for possibly the biggest night of their entire european history so i'm excited to see how far they can go so they got some champions crowned all around europe um, of course city takes the biggest news although psg and psv also won their respective leagues over the weekend to me city's championship was the funniest thing i've seen in a while because here's man united who was down 2-0 in the etihad comes back they win the game they postponed their champ their the city's championship that you know it's they ruined the whole party and you know you're like wow Bo West showed up wow they, they must be turning things around just so they can go and lose to west brom at home the next week and just give city the title to me that was the funniest thing that's the most united post fergie era thing i have ever seen congrats to city psv and psg all for winning it listen so we all know that harry kane and tottenham are desperate to try to get harry kane to win that golden boot and to me that's just desperate less about the golden boot even if it is my favorite player if my favorite player is in the running for the golden boot you know i support him and i'm happy that he's going for it but at the same time i'm not going to go out of my way to desperately try to get him to win which is what tottenham is doing and to me tottenham is one of the best teams in england especially this season i thought they were fantastic and for them to go so low as to you know no it wasn't ericsson's goal it was it was harry kane's goal like dude that's your teammate that's still a tottenham player why are you guys so desperately trying to get harry kane into that conversation golden boot at the end of the day is a fantastic achievement for every player but it shouldn't be a main priority like that i know tottenham has a little to play for at this point but come on dude that's just desperate at this point like are you guys really gonna go that low it's, it's the golden boot like yeah congrats but you know and of course i have to mention arsenal now i had behaved myself on instagram i had not roasted them as much i mean i still roast i haven't roasted them as much especially that was the most arsenal thing that you could possibly do is qualify to a semi-final of europa league just to lose to newcastle on the weekend it's it has arsenal written all over it and arsenal getting blown out by atletico in a chain in a europa league semi-final i would not put it past them that that has arsenal again that has arsenal written all over them. but again I, I i can't say yes or no to arsenal because i don't know which arsenal is going to show up but losing to newcastle on the weekend like dude I, I i i try my best not to roast arsenal i really i really try my hardest not to roast arsenal but they just they go out of their way they they go out of their way to give me ammo to roast them so all right guys so that was it for this week's episode of tuesdays with dean show let me know what you guys think if you guys like the video like share subscribe comment below if you have a topic you guys want me to talk about if you disagree with me let me know 
make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram as well. If Again, if you guys have any other questions, feel free to hit me up. That's it for this week's episode, guys, and we'll see you guys next time. Golazo, golazo, golazo.